Hey 5M enthusiasts, welcome back to our development adventure. In today's video, we're diving into the world of server management with a focus on a practical script, the rental script. If you've ever wondered how to implement a system that allows players to rent cars, you're in the right place. This script not only lets your players experience the thrill of driving different vehicles, but also offers a unique twist. When the vehicle is returned, 50% of the rental fee is refunded. It's a fantastic addition for a starting server, bringing both functionality and excitement. Stay tuned as we explore the ins and outs of integrating this rental script into your server. If you find this content helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with your fellow developers, and subscribe for more valuable 5M insights. I'm Brave, and let's get started on enhancing your server with this rental script. Head to the link provided in the description and download the file from GitHub. Unzip the RAR file, then copy the extracted files and paste them into the QB folder. Now, modify the folder name by removing the word main. Open the folder and access the readme file. Copy the lines provided under put this line in shared Lua in your core. Navigate back to the QB folder, open QB core, then go into the shared folder. Open the items, Lua source file, scroll to the bottom section and paste the lines you copied earlier. Return to the readme file and copy the next lines under go to QB inventory, 8 ml. Jez Dollar says to Appy JG's and between lines 500, 600 add the following code. Follow the video guide to locate the app JJS file, open it and paste the line somewhere around line 381. Ensure that you include the necessary closing brackets. Now, let's head back to GitHub and go to the NC Rental link. Save the image displayed, or if you prefer, you can use your own image. Copy the saved image and paste it into the Inventory Images folder. Make sure to rename the image to match the name given in the Items section. Now that we've completed the essential backend work, let's edit the config file to suit our needs. Before that, I'd like you to go to the QB Vehicle Keys folder and open the config file. In this file, make sure to set Lock in PC Driving Car and Locked Parked Cars to false, as some servers built in another version may encounter issues with the rental script. Returning to the rental script config file, I'm going to make changes based on my server's needs. First, I'll remove all the other rental places and keep only one for my server. Now I'll copy the vector four location from the game where I want my rental location to be. These four locations represent where the cars will spawn. I'll adjust them to the available parking spaces and it's important to leave a significant gap between all locations to avoid desync issues. Now at the top side, I'm going to remove the car model, as car models often cause lag and desync issues. Here you can also adjust the rental fees and license requirements. We are all set to test the script. Make sure to save the file and reboot the server. Recently, 
I made some changes to my multi-character and spawn script. If you're interested in seeing the updates, drop a comment below, and I might make a video about it. Now, once I spawn, the first thing you'll notice is the rental guy. Head over to him, use your target eye system, and start renting. I'm going to rent four bikes so you can check out my spawning locations. Now, you can return the vehicle and get back 50% of the money. Just remember to enter the vehicle before returning. Alright, that's a wrap for today's video on adding a rental script to your 5M server. We explored the step-by-step -step process of installation, configuration, and testing. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with your fellow developers, and subscribe for more exciting 5M content. I'm Brave, and I hope this new addition enhances the gameplay experience on your server. Stay tuned for more scripting tutorials, server optimizations, and feature explorations in our upcoming videos. Happy developing! If you enjoy the content and want to support the channel, you can now buy me a virtual coffee on Ko-Fi. It's a fantastic way to show your love and keep our digital journey going strong. Simply click the link in the description to get started. You can tip with PayPal or directly from your card. And yes, nothing comes free. I will make sure to upload some exclusive scripts, videos, and links on Ko-Fi, as YouTube won't allow me to upload certain links and scripts. Your support means the world to me, and I appreciate each and every one of you.